The Queen is continuing her week-long visit to Scotland and having meetings with several of the nation's leaders amid the possibility of a big change. During an audience on Wednesday, the monarch, who is 96 years old, met with Nicola Sturgeon, the First Minister of Scotland, at the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh. During her Holyrood week, the Queen always meets with the First Minister. However, this encounter took place less than 24 hours after Sturgeon outlined plans for Parliament to call a second Scotland independence referendum. From the very beginning of the meeting, the monarch effectively broke the ice with Nicola Sturgeon by chatting about one of her lifelong passions, premium whisky. The 96-year-old was all smiles as she shook hands with the leader of the Scottish National Party, who just yesterday announced plans to hold another independence referendum in October 2023. Whether the two powerhouses discuss the diverse political matters which would make Scotland a sovereign state outside of the United Kingdom remains unconfirmed. Wearing a pink toned floral dress and her signature pearls, the Queen kicked off the audience by making a beeline for the table adorned with traditional Scottish gifts. Sturgeon offered a brief explanation of each present to the monarch, who appeared most intrigued by the £150 limited edition bottle of Johnny Walker Blue Label Whiskey. It's been widely reported that Her Majesty has long enjoyed a drop of the Scottish liquor, famously opting for a glass of Royal Loch Nagar when vacationing at her Highlands retreat at Balmoral Castle. She also graciously accepted a specially made tartan blanket from Sturgeon, which she called a nice thing to have, as well as a framed graphic. The Queen can be heard chuckling with Sturgeon during the exchange, suggesting she's still in high spirits despite her ongoing mobility issues. The two leaders posed for photographs before being left alone to have a private conversation, as is the formality of Her Majesty's audiences. However, in the snap released, the Queen was not seen standing using the support of a light walking stick, as she has done during multiple recent appearances. The monarch also appeared to have a purple discoloration on the back of her hand, which sparked the concern of some royal watchers. It's not the first time that the Queen has been snapped with noticeably purple hands. Royal watchers also spotted them last November during an audience at Windsor Castle with former Chief of the Defence Staff, General Sir Nick Carter. She also had marked hands in 2019 in an official photograph of her meeting with Jordan's King Abdullah and Queen Rainier and their son Crown Prince Hussein. Dr J Verma of the Shakespeare Medical Centre said the condition could be caused by a number of issues. Speaking to Metro last year, he explained, There are a few different reasons for why the Queen's hands are so purple. A lack of circulation, frail skin, exposed veins, bruising, a leakage of blood to the tissue beneath the skin causing the colour. It could be cyanosis, which occurs when there is not enough oxygen in the blood. The medical expert added, Blood which has a normal amount of oxygen is a deep red and means your skin is its normal colour. However, low oxygenated blood is bluer, which causes your skin to have a purple hue. It is known that cyanosis can develop quicker if the person has suffered a minor health problem. So this could be linked to her recent injury. The Queen's appearance today came after she travelled to Scotland on Monday with other royals for their annual week of engagements in the country. Her Majesty travelled by royal train overnight to Edinburgh, starting with an appearance on Monday for the historic ceremony of the keys. During the ceremony, the Queen is handed the keys of the city of Edinburgh and welcomed to your ancient and hereditary kingdom of Scotland. Although she has received audiences at her Windsor Castle home in the past week, the outing on Monday marked her first public appearance since her Platinum Jubilee celebrations in early June. The Queen was absent from all five days of Royal Ascot earlier this month, one of her go-to events amid her ongoing mobility issues. On Tuesday, the Queen made another public appearance to watch a military parade in the gardens of Holyrood House. The Armed Forces Act of Loyalty Parade paid tribute to the Queen as head of the Armed Forces in Scotland and marked her Platinum Jubilee.